Welcome back, everyone. Angie Edge from Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin is here now. Hi, Angie. Good Hi. to see you. I picked the right day to yes. fill in for Mark. Exactly, because <laughs> October is National Pizza Month, and no pizza party is complete without Wisconsin cheese. Definitely. So, so many different variations to choose from, so many different varieties. And you're to, making a German today pizza today. Is today is German-style pizza. It's called Flammkachen. I might not be <laughs> saying that right, um, but just a different variation, very simple, but it has, did have some roots in Germany. So the, the crust actually I made ahead of time. Uh, it's simple, actually just a few ingredients. You roll out a ball, there's flour, there's water, and there's olive oil. And you um, just basically whisk that together and keep kneading it as to it comes to a nice uh, dough consistency. No yeast. No, no yeast, nope. And it's very crispy as you cook it. And then on top of that, I use actually a mixture of sour cream and egg yolk. And traditionally in this pizza, you can use a cream franche um, if, you, if you research this type of pizza. Okay. Um, so it, it does um, have a great flavor to it. So then you're gonna add on some sliced Yukon gold potatoes. Um, potatoes, of course, are um, a must in any German recipe. So are those raw or cooked? These are raw, Okay. Yep. So we have some potatoes, lots and lots of sauteed onions. <laughs> that's probably what you're smelling. Yeah, that's so, so sauteed wonderful. onions on top of that. And then there, um, everybody loves bacon as well. So there is some crispy bacon some. that we're adding to this recipe. Give it lots of flavor, lots of protein. And of course, you're probably wondering, but last but not least, the Wisconsin cheese. We're using a Wisconsin brick cheese. Instead of mozzarella. Instead of mozzarella. So brick cheese is actually the new rage for pizzas. It's very popular in Detroit and lots of different states to use brick cheese. It melts beautifully. You can buy it in different ages. So you can buy a mild brick. You can buy a more strong aged brick. It actually is one of our cheeses that was in, uh, invented in Wisconsin. Really? Um, so invented right here. They got its name because they used bricks to actually press the moisture out of the cheese. Interesting. And um, it's one of our Wisconsin originals. Very, very proud of this one. This one's made by a Wisconsin master cheesemaker in Teresa, Wisconsin. You'll notice it's made by Joe Widmer. I don't know if you can see the okay. package here. Oh, hang on. Just um, wait there, we there we go. There we go. And uh, it has that proudly Wisconsin cheese logo along with the master cheese mark maker mark. So very proud of the fact that this is a fourth generation. They actually just celebrated their 100th year this year of making cheese. So Congratulations Lots to of them. pride and tradition in our Wisconsin. And then you can top it off with a little fresh rosemary at the end. And you basically uh, bake it in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes till that cheese just starts to melt. You can see the, the brown cheese and, the, and it just starts to ooze over. So it looks it's delicious. absolutely delicious. It couldn't be easier. Wisconsinscheese.com yep, Wisconsin for all the recipes. Thanks, Anne. Happy Pizza Month. <laughs>